Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and get started. A uh, couple quick notes. Uh, West Liberty moves to uh, 32 and three. The 16 three-pointers today ties three others in elite uh, eight history for second in, in an elite uh, eight game. Also, this was the highest winning margin since 1989. It's the fifth largest winning mar uh, margin in elite eight history at 37 points. So just a couple quick notes for everybody. Uh, joining us here on the uh, dais following their win is head coach Ben Hallett. Also joining us is Bryce Butler and Zach Brazil. You guys know the drill. We'll start off with an opening comment from coach. Then we'll talk to our student athletes for a few moments. Then once they're done, we'll let them go back to the locker room and then we'll keep uh, coach Hallett here for a little bit longer. Coach, opening comments. Congratulations on a terrific win this afternoon. Thank you. Uh... I want to execute our game plan really well. You know, put pressure on these guys and um, make tough catches and, and obviously have to ball pressure. Um, we wanted to wear these guys out. I thought uh, it's kind of the second half of what we were working on. We knew they weren't going to go um, incredibly deep. Um, played seven guys in the entire game. I think they'll get playing 11 or 12 guys on our team. So um, mission accomplished. Um, I feel good for about another 15 minutes and it's on the black edge state. Thank you so much, Coach. So once again, we'll uh, open it up for questions here inside the Ford Center. We do have a couple of virtual attendees via Zoom. Um, if you are on Zoom and you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. And when I open your mic up, I'll let you know and you can go ahead and ask your question. So first off, let's start with our uh, student athletes that are joining us today. Any questions for um, Bryce or Zach? I'll ask either one of you. Uh, did you plan, your coach mentioned your plan of attack today was it to draw them more? Uh, were, were you taking more threes than normal? Uh, I don't mean, I don't know if I'm you think about it. I think we actually average 36 threes a game. You look at it, and I think we would shoot most threes in the country. That's pretty normal for us. I guess my follow would be um, did the big man in the middle, the jock, did he affect how you normally uh, score? Uh, so, uh, a lot less shots than the team That's why I say you're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ask a general question to you guys. Um, obviously, you're playing your best basketball right now. You're knocking off really good teams with good margins. Um, after that little stretch where you lost to Paramount, lost to Wheeling, you got both back, and now you're playing. Was, is there something that's changed in the way you attacked your opponents? I think we're just playing a lot harder. We had to step up, um, make people play for stuff, uh, just really just focusing in and just really kind of hard on what we were at that time. Questions for our student athletes? Okay, in the back, if we can pass the microphone to the back. <laughs> yeah, uh, he just uh, congratulated me on a great season. Uh, told me you love watching me play and uh, the way I play. And, uh, he said uh, one of the best pass or one of the best passers he's ever seen. So that was uh, too comfortable to hear from him. Great coach, I respect him a lot. Probably you said that you're able to play your game with 12 players and you know how was it playing Yeah, um, we were really good players and we got confidence. Um, on these guys. We always say if you're lucky enough. To hit the floor, um, make sure you play really hard. And I thought everything was really good. All 13 guys were playing really good. Back to the game. So, what's the strategy? Like, uh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> we'll get the coach here in a second, everybody. Let's, let's get uh, any more questions for our student athletes, then we'll come back to uh, Coach Hallett. Uh, question for Zach. Um, first, uh, first half, uh, first half, uh, yeah, I think that's been our key uh, to keep the like, second unit uh, just to find a lot of energy to find a spark and uh, taking the energy up to the first quarter. Uh, Zach, uh, you mentioned you guys had some uh, questions for our student athletes. Okay, we'll go ahead and release them. We'll keep coach here, gentlemen. Congratulations, and we'll see you on Thursday. 
Okay, we'll open it up now for uh, questions for uh, Coach Hallett. Coach Hallett, uh, Mountain East Conference administrators in, uh, on, on site today and pointed something out to the set now. Largest New Haven run in the game, six points, maybe less than midway through the second half. Uh, thanks, Sean, for that. that tip. Can you uh, comment on your team's defensive effort today? Well, I'm not going to right now because he's going to go I was sitting next to John. Uh, just thought we played a really good half for defense. I thought our press were on them um, and just the way they played their style of play. Um, but I'm not going to go away from that. They're really good at that style of play and they want to pressure um, them and have for them. So I thought we were one of them. It was our game plan coming in here and that's what we had for all this. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you that. Because I was trying to stop the pitch this week and we made the last shot and that's what they took. Seven straight games. We shot every pitch for something in the fourth, except that a lot of them were just without any shots that were taken. I just think that the type of shots we're shooting, I think we've got to continue to get clean looks. Um, all of our guys have the ability to put the ball in the basket. It's just a matter of us getting those clean. And, and I think um, if you look at our assists today, 28 assists, assists, it's really high. That's really good. And I know at one time we were leading the country and we might still be, but if we can have 20 assists in here, I think we can be really, really good. Let's go in the back. Coach, I know you told us earlier this week that when the team is playing at its best, that's basically what it looks like. And when you're going through this style of play, what is unique about this group of guys and their quest to try to win the national championship compared to other teams you've had that have also been similarly good? I think they're very team oriented. I think this group really cares about winning rather than coming to the box score. That's something that we talk about is. is the ultimate team. We're not a cliche team, but we have shirts this year that just say team. Well, it's all say team. I think they really bought into that. And it's fun to be around a group of guys that really only care about the outcome of the team. And that's the best thing you can do. Well, Yeah, we knew they were going to run um, their two guard offense. Which, if you fall asleep on a two guard offense, you're probably going to get back cut, cut, face cut. And we just wanted to be alert at all times on defense. And again, I thought we tried to make ugly catch, um, we tried to challenge ugly catch, and we tried to put extreme ball pressure on, on the guy with the basketball team. Um, just thought again, our guys did a really good job of executing that. Sped them up a little bit, which is hard to do. Um, and I think our coach would agree with this. But once that team gets down a substantial amount, it's probably a little bit tougher for them to come back because of the way they play their style of play. And once we got that 15 to 20 point lead, our, our, our guys saw blood in the water. They did a good work. Go ahead, one more question. Uh, does anybody on your team not have the green light? <laughs> uh, just the confidence that they shot, shot with the pitch at you any time of the game. So it's just something that you and your staff must encourage. Can you just talk a little bit about that mentality, that kind of culture? Yeah, I think it goes back to we recruit guys that um, are multi skilled and can play multiple positions. Um, everybody on our team has a green light to shoot. And if they don't shoot, then they're going to trouble. So um, these guys spend an incredible amount of time. In practice, outside of practice, getting shots up. And um, so, like, it's no surprise to the coaching staff or our fans when we make shots like this. Awesome, coach. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And we'll see you Thursday.